All right. Tomorrow, the world. All right. Let's um, submit and go to the next challenge. Let's see. Maybe later. And let's refresh this page again. Now we are working on this challenge. Use HTML5 to require a field. We did look at this before. I'm not sure if, if we search require. Um, would it show anything? Um, requires a pseudonym. Uh, sorry, pseudo class. So let me <coughs> put in input. Input require. So here we have uh, input type password. Common attributes, pattern, placeholder, read only, required, size, um, as well as autocomplete, input mode, max length, min length. So maximum length, min minimum length. Okay, cool. All right, let's go back to this and let's read what they have here. Use HTML5 to require a field. Uh, notice you can require specific form field so that your users would not be able to submit a form until he or she has filled them out. For example, if you want to make a text field input required, you can just add the following attribute required inside or within your input element such as this for example, which is what we're going to do. We're going to say um, after placeholder we're going to say required. You don't need to require a button um, because basically if you, don't if you don't click on the button, that you don't click, if you don't click on the submit button, it will not be submitted. So that is automatically required. What happens is you want to make it so that people need to enter a URL here. They need to enter a URL in order for the submit button to work. Or else the but submit button does not work because you have added a required um, condition here is a condition. Those are what conditions are. So make sure your text input uh, has a required field in it. So this is, I guess, a field now. It's, it's not an attribute. So that your user can't submit the form without completing this field. Okay, so what I mean is making sure that input is now a a uh, field, right? I mean, it means you need to enter data here. You need to enter text uh, in order for this to work. So now try to submit the form without inputting any text. See how your HTML form notifies you that the field is required. Okay, let's click on this submit. Actually, let's remove the text first click submit it says please fill out this field so if I you know put in required field and submit it would go to 404 um, splendid okay so what are we looking for here the test is looking for your text input element should have the required attribute so this is an attribute and basically what is the input field is basically an input field and place a placeholder that says cat photo URL and is required and so you can't click submit without it and after we put text it, it does not submit it does it should, it should go here but it cannot find it cannot find it that's why there's a 404 error Whoa. all right so after this we're going to move on to set, creating a set of video buttons in the next video so let's run the test and Let's see what it says. Hasta Vista Challenge. And we'll see you in the next video.